right, week 17 time, and we've got to go through our playoff scenarios, Mike. Let's start in the NFC, and we'll just go team by team and discuss what is on the table mm -hmm. as we head into these final games. New Orleans Saints, they're locked in. They've got home field advantage. Sounds like Drew Brees isn't even going to see the field. It's going to be all the backups. Teddy Bridgewater getting the start. Let's get into the number two seed, though. The bye is very important. The Rams, one game up on the Bears. If the Rams win, they're in. The Bears could still have a bye if they win and the Rams lose because they have that tiebreaker. Yeah, huge game for Los Angeles Rams. Good news is they're playing the 49ers, who, you know, it's not a team fighting for their playoff lives. Should be a win for them, but... It's no cakewalk. 49ers have been playing better football lately. Nick Mullins looks like a vast upgrade over C.J. Beathard, at least at the quarterback position. So, could be a game for them, but I see the Rams winning, and then the bye is huge for them. Home field advantage, the Saints having that is huge in the NFC just because of how big I think the home field has been for all these teams throughout the season. Yeah, and especially if you look at the Rams and Bears, assuming mm -hmm. you know they would be locked into that second round matchup, the difference would be... Is it in Los Angeles? Is it in Chicago? Yes. We saw how much the Rams struggled in Chicago on Sunday Night Football a few weeks back. Uh, the Bears, as we said, have a chance at number two. They're likely going to end up at the number three seed. They're playing the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are playing for their playoff lives. If they win, they're in and likely playing the Bears the following week. So this is one of those games that's in Minnesota this week, and they might have a rematch in Chicago the following week. And the Vikings are battling the Eagles for that last spot. People afraid of the Eagles here at this point? With I calls? would be. I mean, I would be afraid of the Eagles. If I'm Minnesota, I'm not banking on the fact that, oh, I can, you know, cakewalk or just, like, sleepwalk through this game and still get in the playoffs. I think the Eagles are going to take care of business against the Washington Redskins, which means the Vikings have to win this game. A must win against a team in the Chicago Bears who still have something to play for. They're going to come to their house in Minnesota and still be starting everyone, basically, offensively and defensively because it's, you know, the Bears want to win as well. So, that, to me, is the game of the week in the NFC by far. Who ends up taking that one? I'd give the edge to Minnesota just being at home and backs against the wall like that, but the Bears are a tough team. I don't, Chicago's it's no easy D thing. has yeah. been really good in recent weeks, and let's discuss the rest of it. D Dallas Cowboys locked into the number four seed. Jerry mm -hmm. Jones trying to say that they're going to be going all out against the New York Giants, but probably should rest their starters. Yeah. Uh, this makes no sense to go all out in this one. I mean, as someone gets hurt and all of a sudden you're going all out in Week 17, like Dak Prescott gets hurt, Ezekiel Elliott gets hurt, and you don't have them for round one of the playoffs, heads will roll. You cannot play your starters in this one. I don't care what they say. And then locked into a playoff spot, the Seattle Seahawks still technically could end up at the number six spot, but likely in the number five spot. Seattle, right now, you know, they're pegged to go to Dallas for a Week mm -hmm. 1 matchup. That would be a fantastic Week 1 uh, game and they're playing the Cardinals. Seattle's playing the Cardinals. Likely they'll win, and I think we're going to see Dallas and Seattle in the wild card. This round. one's a more interesting dynamic, though, in terms of do you play your stars? Because I think obviously you'd rather play Dallas and Dallas than Chicago or Los Angeles traveling on the road to either of those teams, but at the same time, you don't want to get your starters hurt. You're still in the playoffs. Right. You don't, you know, even if you losing that game against the Cardinals, yes, it will affect your playoff seating, but would you rather have a healthy Russell Wilson, you know, for sure healthy Russell Wilson, or take that chance that one hit, someone gets injured? I'm not sure what you do with Seahawks. I'd probably rest my starters, to be honest, if I were them. We've seen teams take this strategy in the preseason where they said, look, health is much more important than execution and mm -hmm. playing. And now, from a playoff standpoint, health is always the most important thing. So we'll see how teams play it. We've got a full breakdown over at ProFootballFocus.com. That's your NFC playoff breakdown.